Welcome back, team. It's your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and I have brought the ship up to transmission death to broadcast my pirate signal out across the internet via YouTube. And in this session, what I'm giving you is the top YouTube channels for new and aspiring coders, software developers, engineers, whatever it is. If you are out there and you're asking yourself, should I go to a boot camp? Should I go to college? What do I learn? Where do I start? I'm going to give you the resources right here, right now, that will help you learn to code. And I'm not talking about any boot camps. I'm not talking about any classes. I'm talking about real world people, self-taught, who started from the bottom. And one day they discovered computers and computer science and code and software and programming. And they went out and they started applying for jobs and they started learning stuff. And they just they just kept going nonstop team. And then one day they decided, hey, it's time to cut the cord. It's time to unplug from the matrix. It's time to free my mind. And they went out. And they started their own things. Some were working as freelancers. Some have worked as freelancers. We got authors in here. We got course creators. These are the channels that will give you the knowledge you need to help you free your mind and learn to code for fun and profit. So let's get into it, team. Now, these are coming at you in no particular order. Um, so I don't want you to think that you know one is better than the other. They all have something different to offer. They all have uh, a very unique perspective, a very unique skill set, unique personalities. But combined, these powers are immense, team. So first up, we've got Traversy Media, created by Brad Traversy. And Brad started putting videos on YouTube a long time ago. Right now, he's at 888,000 subscribers, team, and he's growing every day. And Brad is constantly putting out fresh content. I personally own a couple of his courses, and they are phenomenal. ES6 is a phenomenal course. If you want to learn about JavaScript, he has that over on Udemy. He has it on his website as well. And you can find all of that information over on his channel at traversymedia.com. And as you can see, if you look at his channel, he is just constantly producing fire content. He's got Absolute Beginner, HTML Crash Course, Absolute Beginner, CSS Crash Course, Absolute Beginner, JavaScript Crash Course, Absolute Beginner, React, Vue, Angular. And it goes on and on and on. And then Brad comes on and he tells us his story. He talks about when he first got started, when he first got into web development, talks about his first job and stuff like that, team. And I don't know how he has all this stuff organized uh, per se in particular, but as you can see, he has a lot of stuff. And Brad is just he's just the beast at creating. And he does as far as I know, he does all the stuff himself. He does the cover art. He does all the tutorials and everything. He has a video where he goes through his uh, his desk setup. Um, he talks about workflow, creating new web development projects, all that stuff. Brad is just delivering an immense value. He is the Bob Ross of code. He just sits down and he's like, hey, guys, today we're going to build uh, a social media website. And we're going to use, you know, React, Mongoose, and, uh, and, and whatever other technology he wants to use. And then he walks you through it from beginning to end, team. And if you go through this stuff and you really pay attention and you internalize it, and most importantly, if you go out and you build something on your own or even just when you go through his courses, the stuff that he's built, if you say, hey, hey, can I modify this? Can I change the color of this? Can I change the layout of that? Can I do this a little different? And you and you try to 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 build your own thing. And then you're trying to explain to yourself and, and like the, the, the super skills is, hey, can I go out and explain this to somebody else? Because that's going to help you understand even more. But Brad has the courses to get you where you want to go team this is this is one of the, the one of the greats one of the greats out here in the the youtube web development community next up we have the real tough candy and she is quirky she is funny she's got personality but she is a beast she's published multiple books you can find those over on amazon she's got courses on udemy she's got courses on how to how to grow a tiny youtube channel and she is no joke when when i started out she had you know, a third of the the subscribers that I have, and now she's crushing me. She's got twice as many subscribers. I went off down the road. I got the I got the big corporate job. I'm making the big corporate money. I'm living the big corporate life, and uh, and she was just out there grinding and hustling, doing doing uh, working for different companies, doing freelance projects, working as a contractor, writing books. It's all kinds of stuff, and uh, she puts a lot of work into her content, into her videos, and she's very introspective about what it means to be a web developer and and what it's out here what it's like out here when you're trying to uh when you're trying to come up and uh she just shares her story in this really super unique way and uh she puts out some pretty some pretty funny content um but at the same time she can be very serious 
at times, but she's always delivering value. Um, and she has a very unique perspective on things, and she's just she's just fun to watch. And uh, team, the real tough candy, she will uh, she will expand your mind in a different kind of way. Next up, we have Coding Phase by my man Joe Santos Garcia, and I've been following I've been following a lot of these guys for a long time. When I started following Brad, he was probably like four hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, Coding Phase was he had twice as many as subscribers as me when I discovered him, so he was at like four thousand, and I was at I was at 2,000, but now he's at 47,000, and Joe brings the fire too, and Joe's story is unique in the sense that he was working jobs, and, and at one point, he was like, hey, man, I got to set my goals far beyond this, and he was like, yo, my goal is to get out here to build my own stuff, to build my own niche websites, I'm going to put together my own course, I'm going to do my own thing, and I'm going I'm to put that out to the world, and uh, I'm going to write my own ticket in this world, and that's what Joe's doing right now, team, he's out there, and he's doing it. And he puts up he puts up fire content, but then he also does live feeds where you can go on and you can actually ask Joe questions about what it is he's doing, how he's doing it, why he's doing it. Um, and Joe's very open, man. He'll tell you what's up, right? As, as far as I know, I mean, there's a, there's some things that he may not want to share, but from what I've seen, right? He's he's always been very open about what he's doing, and he just wants to help people reach the next level, and he wants to help people free their minds, and 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 help them understand. That you don't necessarily need the job, but hey, man, there's things that we want to do. There's places we want to go. There's places we want to work. And if you set your goals on those things, you can get there, team. And he has a website, codingphase.com, where you can actually get a membership and you can go in and he shows you all kinds of stuff, man. He teaches you how to use React in in in, in a way like no other, man. And he's got people building fresh, I mean, like super fresh websites inside of inside of codingphase.com and when you come out you got these websites they look really really good man and i mean they look they go perfect in the portfolio but what you got to do and joe will tell you man he's like hey man you got to put your own sauce on it you gotta you gotta sprinkle the dust on it and like joe talks like that i'm i'm, I'm mimicking joe right now you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta put your own sauce on it you gotta use your swag you gotta make it your own um and then you go out there and you apply for those jobs team and if you stick around to the end of this video I'm going to give you some bonus information that's going to help you boom take off accelerate your growth to the next level but coding phase is a fantastic channel man he's got a fantastic website I had a membership over at coding phase and I'm going to get another membership again just just to see what cool stuff he's got going on in there he's got courses on how to how to do e HTML emails he's got people who've gone through his courses have gone out gotten jobs Right here on his website, I watched this video the other day, somebody who went through his course and they went off and they got a job at Texas Instruments. I watched the interview the other day of another guy who had been through codingphase.com and he went out and he got a job and he was like, when I got there, man, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I, you know, I had studied all this stuff on how to make these websites and I'm, I'm taking PDFs and I'm turning them into HTML web pages and I get there and they're like, yo, React, you gotta learn React. But this guy, just just from just from going through coding phases courses right he had the knowledge right and he's like yo right i can figure this out right he had the confidence and he's like i can go learn this i can go you know i i can make this a success and this guy hey he's going strong man he's in the job he's doing his thing and uh, he's making good money and he's learning a ton of stuff and and then he's coming out and i can't remember his channel exactly where i saw him but uh he's got a youtube video out there where he's talking about this stuff and he's just he's just keeping it straight up but if you follow Joe over at Coding Phase long enough, right, you'll come across these names and Joe will introduce you to these people and he'll tell you about their stories, man. And they're all they're all stories of people who are like, I didn't think I can do it, but then I did it. And Joe will tell you he was one of those people, right? He didn't think he could do it. And then he did it, right? One day he was like, Hey man, this is the this is the life I want to live. This is the person I want to be. This is what I want to do. I'm gonna make my own schedule. I don't wanna be working for somebody else. And I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna get it. And that's what he's doing, man. He's got the course. He's got the niche sites. And uh, he gives you a real education on how to take these skills that is web development, software development, software engineering, and, and uh, being able to apply them in the real world and being able to turn them into, into income and grow them to an income that surpasses your job where really you can make your own, you, you, can, you, can, you can write your own ticket. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Next up, team, we got Joshua Fluke over at grind real and joshua his story is unique too right he was working um he went to school got a degree in engineering he's working at this engineering job and some stuff went down i don't remember the exact story but joshua was like hey man i gotta do something else so he enrolled in a coding boot camp and he's straight up about it man he's like hey you know 
I enrolled in this coding boot camp and I didn't even study before I went to the boot camp. I got into the boot camp and then I'm, I was procrastinating on all kinds of stuff. And he's like, you know, one day I realized like, man, I can I can write my own ticket. I just got to I just got to have a plan and I got to have a determination and I got to I got to be willing to grind. And he started grinding and now he's got the grind real team um, and he comes and he keeps it real and he tells you what it, what's up. He's going out there. Right. He's going through the boot camp. He got the job. I think he was teaching at the boot camp for a while. He's done some he's done some freelance work, some contract work. And I think he's had like another um, like like some other corporate jobs that he's worked to as well. But again, I'm not here to tell that story. I'm just the messenger. I'm here to t I'm here to show you the people that are out here that are going to give it to you, team. And you may have come across some of these channels already. And if you haven't. Right. I'm, I'm here to, 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 to shine some light on them for you, team. So Joshua, he um, he's very he's very harsh on the uh, the corporate community because uh, because they lie to you. Right. And I mean, you, you know, it is what it is. Right? Maybe they're lying on purpose. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know the agenda. It doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, a business is a business and a business hires people to help them grow as a business. And the business has to make money. It has to make money in order to pay the people that are working there. And, you know, sometimes right, business got to let you go. And no matter how much a part of the family you think you are, if you aren't contributing to that bottom line team, you got to go. Right? If, you, if, if you if you become sort of, of some sort of detriment or hindrance to what it is they're trying to accomplish, you got to go. And, and, you know, some people, they're, they're sad about it when they got to go. They're like, hey, man, you know, oh, and they get down on themselves and they feel like imposters and they feel like they can't do it. They feel like they can't get it. But a lot of the times it's probably not a strike against you as a person. It's just the way it is. Team. It's just the way the business works. He talks about going out and finding jobs. You're looking at these different job sites and they're talking about, hey, man, you need five years of experience for, for in some sort of technology that's only existed for two years. You know, just crazy stuff like that. And Josh is like, hey, man, apply for them jobs. Just apply for them. Um, and then on this channel, he gives you some hacks too, right? He tells you like, Hey, this is how you, this is how you get around those job sites. So you can get your resume right to the inbox of the person you need to contact in order to get an interview. He talks about, uh, he has this series called corporate cringe, where he's talking about different corporations and the different things they do when it comes to, uh, to hiring, uh, software developers, coders, engineers, and all that stuff. And then how they treat them. Things like that, man. So he's very critical, but he keeps it real, man. He's a, he's a very honest guy. He seems to be very transparent. Again, I don't know. I don't know him personally. We're not we're not you know friends or anything, but I, I feel I, I mean I just I get this feeling from him, this energy that 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 hey man like he's just being real and he's telling telling you what it's about. And Josh, another developer who's gone out and now he's doing his own thing. Team, he's got his YouTube channel. He's got his niche sites. He's got a membership sites. And uh, he's out there doing all this stuff. You can find all of that stuff over at his channel right now. Josh Fluke is over is at 164,000 subscribers team. And he just keeps it real. And he just put he just puts out he just puts out the content. Um, and uh, he's just a fire, just a just a fire dude, just a just a good guy who's out here trying to help other people who are in in the situation he's in where he's like, I, I mean, and you got to check out Josh. He'll tell you the story, right? He ta he's talking about family issues and things that he was going through. And uh, and you can really see how he developed that mindset team. And like I said, like he'll tell you, it's no easy, it's no easy walk. And they'll all tell you, you know, Josh, Joe, Brad, uh, Real Tough Candy. They'll all tell you it's not an easy journey team. But when you're on that journey for you, it makes it better. Because when you wake up in the morning, you're not just doing it for some company somewhere. You're doing it for yourself. It's like, hey, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm not here to socialize. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to provide the best possible service. And most importantly, I'm here to learn as much as I possibly can so I can apply this to my life. And I can create the life that I want to live so I can do the things I want to do. And I can be the person that I want to be. And that's Josh's whole message. Next up we have coding tech and what coding tech is going to do is uh they just consolidate these talks from all these different conferences that go on all around the world and it's it's this is the power of the internet team this is why i come up to transmission depth and i broadcast my pirate signal to the world via youtube team is because you can you one day you can be in norway learning about learning about quantum computing and the next day you can be in arizona learning about tips for clean code and, and those aren't really the places, but I mean, these conferences are from all over the world team and people are paying money, hundreds of dollars to fly all over the place to go to these things and to sit and listen to these people talk about their philosophy on code and software development. And um, 
I think maybe maybe ever so often you'll run across somebody who's talking about their story. Hey, man, like, look, I was I was I was working this job I didn't like. And then I went and did this other thing and this other thing. And now here I am on stage talking to you about this particular technology. And th these videos are just fire. And we're not going here to watch these to learn any to 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 master some sort of some sort of programming language or concept. We're there for the ideas, for the knowledge that's going to be conveyed to us, and to immerse ourselves in an environment where we're where we're, we're we're hearing we're hearing different terms used in different sort of contexts, and um, and it helps us expand our understanding of what this thing is that software development, web development, computing, all this stuff. Because this stuff is brand new, team. This is brand new stuff. Right, it's only been 30 years, and we got a whole long way to go, team. And so, this is a great way to immerse yourself in that knowledge base and the experience of, you know, hundreds of different people with diverse backgrounds and diverse, uh, you know, diverse thinking and ideas around what it means to develop software and to and to essentially be building the future the world that we're going to live in and the things we're going to do. And uh, this talks in here on, on AI and all kinds of stuff, team. So it's a fantastic channel. Next up we have Crash Course. And there's a bunch of stuff here in Crash Course. They talk about there's there's AI and history, all kinds of things. But uh, what I'm focused on is the computer science side of it. Crash Course has this, this series called Crash Course Computer Science. Let's see if I can find it in here. And if we just go out to YouTube and do a straight up search for Crash Course Computer Science, you'll get this playlist right at the top. We'll click on that Crash Course Computer Science. And this will take you right into the, uh, I think I hit play all, so let's go back. So you head right over into that playlist. And this is going to, if you do it the way I did, it's going to start playing automatically. But here they got a humongous playlist. It's like 41 videos that walk you through computer science from the very beginning all the way up into the current age where we are right now team and this will give you a foundational understanding of computer science and computers and and, and help you to understand how all of this stuff works and goes together they talk about uh, operating systems and memory and how processors work how hard drives work everything you want to know about computers they talk about it in here now this isn't a course that's going to make you a computer science expert or anything but it will give you the knowledge um, to be able to go out and, and piece together things in order to build your own stuff, team. So this, in conjunction with everything else, is a very well-rounded um, education in, in software development for the self-taught person. And when you're starting out, right, and I mean, we can all start from different places, but, right, if you want to be able to build stuff right away and see how it works, Right. You start with HTML, then you move into CSS and then you go into JavaScript and then you go off into other stuff like PHP, maybe even some node stuff like that team. But the, the start, the start is HTML and uh, and then CSS. And I might as well just say HTML5. HTML5 is just HTML, CSS and JavaScript, three different languages that come together to make it possible for us to produce stuff that we can put on the Internet and other people can use and interact with. And computer crash course computer science is an excellent way to get an understanding of computers. If you if you don't know or or you feel like maybe there's some some missing knowledge that you don't understand, crash course computer science will take you there. And they even get into the basics, core fundamentals of programming. And this is super cool because the things that they talk about in here, like programming languages, statements and functions, algorithms, stuff like that, these are things that can be applied with any programming language. One thing I see is new developers coming out here and they're like, yo, man, what's the best language to learn? What's, what language should I learn in 2019? And there is no best language to learn. It's just it's, computer languages are just tools to do things you want to do. If you want to build stuff for the web, you need some HTML, you need some CSS, you need some JavaScript. That's just the way it goes. That's your front end. If you want to build stuff on a server, then, hey, you can use anything you want. You can use PHP, you can use C Sharp, you can use Python, you can use whatever. But at some point, if you want to show this stuff to somebody, you're going to have to produce some HTML. And maybe you use Python on the server to generate some HTML page that serves back to people so they can see it. But all this stuff that I've shown you up until this point, that that stuff, when all put together, right, the courses and the, the methodologies and the ideas and the thought processes, these are the this is this is what all everybody had to go through. All of us out here, we had to go through this through this process of awakening and, and learning and wrapping our head around this stuff, team. So that is a Crash Course Computer Science is a fantastic resource. Next up, we have Socratica and Socratica has got a bunch of uh, they, they got a bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, speed reading and then I think there's some al algebra there may be some stuff in here about history all kinds of stuff but we're here we're talking we're, we're focused on the uh, the Python course 
This is a fantastic course. And I think it's Olga. I'm not positive. I think her name is Olga. But her Python course is fire, team. It is it is produced like no other course I've ever seen. They've got animations and she's she's got clothes that match what she's talking about. It's just it's wild, team. And she walks you completely through Python. And what's so cool about this is because the stuff that she's talking about in Python, if you can internalize it and really understand it, again, it's it's stuff that's used in every programming language. And I didn't understand this until later on. Right. I was out here trying to learn Ruby and JavaScript and, you know, C sharp and like all these different things. And one day I woke up and I realized like, hey, man, it's the same stuff in every language. We're talking about types. We're talking about variables. We're talking about integers and Booleans and floats in every language. All the same stuff. Now, each language has different functions. They have different syntax, how we write things and stuff like that. But the concepts are all the same. And when you understand the concepts, that makes it possible for you to go out and build anything you want. And it gives you the confidence to know that, hey, I can go learn this language. It may take me a day. It may take me two. Right? If you're slow like me, it may take a week, it may take a month. But you know you can learn it. You know you can do it, team. And this, I mean, not Crash Course, but this um, over at Socratica, the Learn Python is fantastic. And right now they are working on putting together a new course, Advanced Python. I don't know if it's done yet. This video came out six days ago. I haven't, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on, but they're running a Kickstarter right now. And hey, when that course comes out, I'm in it. I'm getting it because it's just entertaining, man. It's, it's just as good as watching something on Netflix. That's how that's how dope um, Socratica does everything, team. It's just these these these. I, I mean, I can't I can't speak highly enough of them. They're just putting out just fantastic stuff, team. Next up, we have me. And that is it, team. I'm not going to tell you about my channel. I'm not going to tell you about nothing, team. But if you if this brought you value and you want more content like this, then, hey, you want to subscribe. You want to click that. You want to click the subscribe button. You want to set your notification bell so you get alerts whenever I produce new content and I release new videos, team. And if you want to support the channel, you can check out the code 365 Startup Lab. Links in the description below. You can also buy your merch. You can get some hats. You get some shirts. You get some stickers. You can get those all over at rightcodedrinkcoffee.com. Again, links in the description below. Um, also, information about this rig that I got going on here. If you want to go out and you know learn about the kind of computer setup that you see here in the background with all these RGB lights and stuff, team. But here, I'm going to give you some bonus information. And, and this information, it, it, it's helped me. And I believe it's helped a lot of these other uh the channels out here or the, the YouTubers that I talked about in the beginning, not necessarily, you know, Crash Course or Socratica or Coding Tech. But hey, team, right? Start applying for jobs right now before you know anything. If you don't know nothing, right, just go out to whatever job site, Indeed, Monster. Uh, it, I, I, I don't even know them all, right? You just Google job sites. Just go out, fill out your information and just go through them. And on in, I think it's I think it's Indeed. I might be wrong, but one of these sites, they have like this sort of this this deal where they ask you a bunch of questions and you end up with a resume. So you got like this resume template team. But um, but yeah, th those like just apply, apply to all the jobs. Right. So, hey, go on, do a search HTML and hey, apply to all the jobs and just set a number and just apply every day. And eventually you'll get phone calls. And people, they'll be, it'll, it'll mostly be from recruiters who are recruiting for other tech companies. They're going to ask you about your skill set and all this stuff, team. But just remember this, right? No matter what your resume looks like right now, and I mean, you got to make it look good. I'm not here to tell you, you know, how to do, how to do your resume per se. There's plenty of videos out there on that. Maybe I'll have one in the future or something. So you got to subscribe to the channel if you want to get that. But you put your resume out there. And when someone calls you on your resume, just remember they called you. They read your resume and there's something on there that says, hey, this person may be a fit. So, hey, right, pick up the phone, answer the questions that they have, and eventually you'll you'll land an interview. I don't know when. It may take three days. It may take three months. I don't know. Right? It, it, it's all different. It depends on how many jobs you apply to. It depends on how you talk on the phone. It depends on all these different things, team. But the only way to get out there is to just get out there, team. Just get out there. And then, right, so you've got your, you make yourself a schedule. And you say, hey, every day I'm going to apply to 10 jobs. You go out, you apply to your 10 jobs, and maybe you're working a day job. Maybe you got a family. Maybe you got other stuff going on. You go, you handle that stuff. You do your thing. And then at night or whenever you have time, you sit down and you say, hey, today I'm going to I'm gonna do this. right? And maybe you've got a book or maybe you've got a course or maybe you've got whatever. And there's links in the description below for, for recommended books if, you, if you're a book person. And I gave you a bunch of channels and resources. 
Um, if you are a video person and you like to go through t tutorials, you can check out the Code 365 Startup Lab team. Link in the description below. You can check out Coding Faith. Um, you can go over to Udemy. There's all different kinds of things you can do, team. But you just got to start. And when you start, when you're taking the tutorials, this is bonus information. When you're taking these tutorials, be thinking about how can I use this? How can I build this? What can I do with this stuff? Why am I learning this? Why am I learning this particular thing? What am I going to do? And how is, how is this going to help me become the person I want to become so I can live the life I want to live and do the things I want to do? Another bonus tip, team, is to have yourself a notebook or a piece of software or something that you can use to, to take down your ideas. I have um, I have a couple pieces of software that I use, uh, Simple Note, and there's another one called uh, called Notion, and I I may forget, but I'll try to put the, the 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 those links to those in the in the notes below as well, team. And what I do is I in in one of these applications I have what's called a Spark file, and it's just ideas, ideas for for different businesses, different applications, different websites, different niche websites. And I just put them all in there so I know they're there and I have a place where I can go back when I need inspiration or I need ideas or maybe there's a project I want to work on or something, team, and I'll just go and I'll just look at that list and I'll be like, okay, this is cool. Maybe I'll build that thing. And what's amazing, team, is I've been writing this stuff forever and a lot of this stuff is coming to pass without me even going back to look at that list. Like this YouTube channel, for instance, was on that list in 2012 and I didn't start the channel until 2014. And I didn't start the channel until like two years after I bought this microphone that I'm talking on now. And then it took me another two years to get to 4,000 subscribers. And then I really came back and I started hitting it hard. And now I'm, now I'm closing in on six fairly quickly, team. Um, but that, that's, that's how it goes, team. You got to have a schedule. You got to have a plan. You got to set your goals beyond where it is you think you can be. Um, not too high because then your subconscious mind is going to be like, oh, no. right? You're going to start to do things to, to hinder your progress. But if you set your goals at just like, hey, I want to get a job, right? You'll get the job. I guarantee it, right? If you if you set that goal and you work at it and you're doing what I'm saying and you're working every day and you're working in, in earnest and, and you're focused, you're going to get to that job, team. But, right, it's going to be hard to, 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 re, to recalibrate yourself once you're there unless, you, unless you're really thinking about it. Like, hey, right, my goal right now, get to this job. You get to that job. And then once you get there, you're like, hey, right. This is what I'm going to do with this job. This is what I'm going to do with the knowledge that I learned from this thing. I'm going to take this to the next level. My ultimate goal is to is to work for myself and build my own thing, maybe grow a community, grow a following, whatever it is, team. But that's what you got to do, team. And another thing you got to do is that when you're going through these books, you're going through these courses, you're going through these projects, you're learning new stuff. You got to build stuff. You got to build the stuff that they talk about in the book. You got to write the code. You got to study the code. You got to understand the code. That's the number one. Understand what's going on. Understand the architecture. Understand how it's put together. That's the goal. Because if you can understand that, you can go out and you can build anything. And if you're writing and you're keeping notes on a regular basis, you're using your imagination. And when and imagination is the is the precursor to, to life's coming attractions, team. Right? That you're, you're it's like it's like creating it's like creating a movie trailer. For the actual movie and and you you are the star you're the director you're the performer you're the protagonist you're the supporting character you're all that stuff team and and that's how you do it team right you got this vision in your head that's your goal right and that is just that is just a a a, a, a commercial an advertisement for what is possible and then you go out and you work every day you do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and before you know it, man, you're making these, you're making these steps and leaps and bounds, and you're moving up the ladder. And before you know it, you're where you want to be, team. But you got to set those goals. You got to go out there. You got to work. You got to grind. You got to build the projects, team. I'm your biggest fan, the Real Casadero team. And again, if you want to support the channel, you can check out therealcasadero.com. There's links off to uh, Write Code, to Drink Coffee, so you can buy your merch. There's links off to uh, the Code Three Six Five Startup Lab. In, in case you really want to support the channel by buying a membership, I've got some courses in there you can follow how to get clients. And then um, and then I only focus on the core technologies, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then we get into some PHP to show people, um, you know, the server side and all that stuff, team. But again, I'm your biggest fan of The Real Casadero. The biggest thing you can do to support this channel is leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. But if you don't want to subscribe, that's cool. Just hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. Say, hey, man, thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for putting this video out. Or if you have any questions, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? You know, in, 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 in the community, the community will come in and they'll surround you, man, and they'll answer those questions and stuff like that, team. But that is it. I'm your biggest fan, The Real Casadero. It is time for me to terminate my transmission here and go back down.